Around seven months ago, I decided to quit social media for good. I decided to delete everything. Instagram, TikTok, which I barely used, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. But I made it. I decided to make that call just because I wanted to experience what life was without social media. You see, I'm from 1996. I think 1996 is a generation where we had the best of both worlds. We experienced what life was before social media, before the internet, but we also experienced the benefits of social media. We are good enough with technology to be able to survive and to know how teenagers nowadays feel. Like many things, social media, well, actually the internet was created to connect the world to create a one world rather than different cultures, to create an inter multicultural world. I feel like that was the goal, but that didn't really happen. Things change and people also changed and also platforms changed and their purpose changed. When I actually had social media, I didn't have a purpose. I didn't know what I wanted. I deleted social media seven months ago and I can say I found my purpose. I know what I want to do, I want where I want to go. And my purpose is to help people. I wanted to make this video a little bit raw, this update, quite raw actually. I just grabbed the camera and came to the park and now you see me here, sitting on the park, quite cold actually, I think it's two degrees, but yeah. And I wanted to discuss my seven months update of not having social media. And to be honest, I've never felt better in my life. I feel like my life completely changed since the moment I deleted Instagram, which was the one I mainly used. I felt like before I was comparing myself a lot with people, was comparing myself with everyone that had a better life than me. And that completely changed afterwards. I stopped comparing myself, now I strive for the best for me. And I think and I hope to share that message with everyone. I feel the happiest I've ever been. Now, one of the benefits of actually deleting social media, which I immediately realized was time. I discovered that I had so much time with me that I could do anything I wanted with my day. So what I did was focus my whole energy on cultivating good relationships and cultivating this YouTube channel. Um, since the moment I deleted social media, I almost tripled in size. I'm still a small channel, relatively small. I have 500 subscribers, but that's quite big for me, actually. It's 500 people that like listening to my message, to what I say. I also discovered that I was wasting my time and while I still watch YouTube videos I actually just get ideas from there to to the videos that I do right now like this one and another thing I discovered was that besides being the happiest I've ever been and besides having so much time upon me I found my purpose in life, actually. I know where I want to be and what I want to do. I want to help people. And that was because of social media. I was comparing myself, so then when I deleted it, I had time to think. I had time to stop comparing myself. I had time to spend with friends, family. And I discovered that my purpose and where I want to take my life is helping people. And that's why, for example, I'm striving to become a coach. I moved away a little bit from the finance background that I have and I'm starting to do a little bit more of organizational and stuff. A little bit more of people um, instead of numbers. Do I regret doing numbers? No. But that's not where I want to go moving forward. Besides having more time for myself and besides 
having found purpose in my life there's one thing I found that it's I'm way more productive I have more time to do whatever I want but also when I have the time I actually do things instead of sitting half an hour on the couch more like one hour on the couch just scrolling through social media and that's also because of deleting social media so if anyone wants to have more time upon them stop comparing themselves just delete social media and try it out for one week try it out for two weeks try it out for three weeks for one month just try it out and see how that goes I can assure you it's just going to be the best decision of your life and while this video is not produced the thoughts that come from it are straight from my heart and straight from my mind and I just wanted to share with you I just wanted to make this seven months update a raw update for you guys to share how I feel and to be honest I feel the best and the happiest I've ever been in my life and if there's one thing that you should take from this channel it's this video it's that social media while it was created to unite the world it actually divided the world and where we're headed with social media it's not where we want to be where the society wants to move to but it's what society has transformed into now the question is will I have social media again I've been <laughs> doubting that for I think the six months first month was honeymoon six, six months afterwards were thinking if I wanted social media and I don't think so actually I think I want social media if I have social media it's just going to be for a business and I actually thought why would I have social media for a business if my business cannot grow without social media then what's this I mean I'm trying to grow this as a business without social media so if I can do that anyone can grow their channel as well or anyone can grow a business without social media now will I create social media <laughs> maybe maybe not but I will certainly have some rules with it and it's just sharing not consuming I want to be a creator not a consumer and if you find yourself upon being in social media just delete all your following and become a consumer and become a creator rather than a consumer so yeah I'll see you on uh, another update I think maybe one year update I don't know hope you enjoy this video because it's also my first time speaking outside of, uh, of my home and it's tough. Oh, not tough. It's fun. See you.